studies have considered the importance of autonomy in the workplace for individual well-being. So Marmot's study of the British Civil Service, for example, looked at health inequalities in around 18,000 civil servants from the 1960s and the 1980s. And that study showed that there was a vast range of status hierarchy within that organisation. And the interesting finding here was that the higher up the status hierarchy somebody was, the better their health and the longer they were likely to live. And conversely, the lower down the status hierarchy somebody was, the worse their health was likely to be. In fact, those higher up the hierarchy in the organisation were much less likely to die from executive stress. And this was put down to the fact that they had a lot more control over the way they did their work, a lot more autonomy in the workplace. In fact, when the study looked at those with the lowest control over their jobs, those at the bottom of the status hierarchy, these workers were four times more likely to die from a heart attack or to suffer from cancer or from a stroke. And this was put down to the fact that they had much less control over the way they did their work, much less autonomy in the workplace. And this finding is important because in some organisational forms, cooperatives for example, employees have a lot more control over the organisation and a lot more control over their work. The effects of inequality in health is not restricted to the British Civil Service. Wilkinson and Pickett, in their book, The Spirit Level, looked at health measures such as life expectancy, trust, illness, educational attainment in countries across the world. Then they ranked these same countries by their same level of income inequality. They showed that the outcomes for health and social problems are worse for the more unequal rich countries. Inequalities in income and status have far-reaching and damaging effects on health and well-being, even for the rich in unequal societies, such as the USA or the UK, even within different states in the USA. Health and social problems are worse in more unequal countries. Health and social problems are worse in more unequal US states. Child well-being is better in more equal rich countries. Levels of trust are higher in more equal rich countries. The prevalence of mental illness is higher in more unequal rich countries. Infant mortality rates are higher in more unequal rich countries. Educational scores are higher in more equal rich countries. Rates of imprisonment are higher in more unequal countries. Social mobility is lower in more unequal countries. More equal countries rank better on recycling.